I'm very especially pleased to join you today on this very special occasion of the commissioning and handing over ceremonies of the yam storage facility at Zaki Biam International Yam Market. I also bring you the very warm greetings of Mr. President, who is very excited about this project, especially because a major concern for him has been that the COVID-19 crisis should not in any way disturb agriculture and the food supply chain. That we're able to commission this project in the midst of the pandemic is especially heartwarming uh, for Mr. President. The Zaki Biam International Yam Market is probably the biggest yam market in the world because Nigeria is, of course, the largest producer of yams in the world. It accounts for sales of possibly 70% of yams that are cultivated in the country. Over 200 trucks loading and told close to 2 million tubers of yams go, go out of that market every week. However, the market has had very little storage capacity and its infrastructural facilities are way behind its capacity and the size of commerce that goes on there every day. Aside from that, post-harvest losses have been a major problem of agricultural production in Nigeria. Nigeria produces 17 million tons of yam annually, but loses up to 40% on account of inadequate storage and processing facilities. So following discussions between the federal government's MSME clinic project, the Benue state government, and market stakeholders, it was unanimously agreed that this 200,000 capacity yam storage facility should be located right there in Zakibiam, Benue State, Nigeria's undisputed food basket. Perhaps I should quickly explain the role of the federal government in this and similar projects. In 2016, Mr. President asked me to chair an initiative called the MSME Clinic. The idea was to provide a meeting point in every state between the regulatory or approving authorities, such as NAFDAQ, SON, uh, the Corporate Affairs Commission, and the, uh, the FIRS, and small and medium scale businesses in every state. So at such an event, the MSMEs bring their problems and challenges to the regulatory authorities and the authorities can then offer on the spot services and advice to the MSMEs. This includes advice even on how to access credit, especially through the Bank of Industry. One of the initiatives of the clinics was the idea of building shared facilities for the benefit of small businesses, for small and medium scale businesses operating within defined clusters. This is because most individual businesses cannot on their own afford equipment necessary for their businesses. So for example, for a cluster of tailors or shoemakers, government will provide industrial equipment in a facility to be shared by all the tailors or shoemakers within those clusters. This is the same principle here. A yam storage facility to be shared by yam farmers and sellers in this market. We, have now, we, we now have uh, functioning shared facilities in Oyo State and in Bauchi States, and we intend to extend this to all states of the Federation where there are commercial clusters that require uh, these types of facilities. The shared facility is also an opportunity to improve the working and trading environment for small and medium-sized businesses. So in this particular facility in, in Benue State, we have also have the following features. Aside from the two units of warehouses with a combined capacity to store 200,000 tubers of yams, there is a reconstruction of 660 units of stalls and sheds, the construction of a police and also a market administrative building, the construction of eight units of public toilets, the provision of solar-powered boreholes with an overhead tank, and the construction of internal roads with drainage. The installation of solar street lights are also is part of the, complete, the full complement of what we'll have in this Zaki Biam uh, yam market. 
So let me thank the Honourable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment and the Honourable Minister of State, Industry, Trade and Investment. Their ministry is the anchor ministry for the MSME clinics and they've shown great dedication and commitment to these clinics and this project in particular. I'd also like to commend uh, the Governor of Benue State, His Excellency Dr. Samuel Otom, for his leadership and the solid support that he has given to this project and also to congratulate him on this commissioning of this project. This uh, is a game-changing project. One after the other, the federal government is fulfilling uh, its obligations and its promises to Benue State. And uh, I, I noticed that the, His Excellency the Governor mentioned other promises that have been made. We are taking it one at a time. Here is one, Your Excellency. Be happy and satisfied with this as we go on. <laughs> And I certainly, everything that we promise we will do. I also commend and congratulate our MSME clinic partners and everyone that has worked to make this possible. It is therefore now my very special pleasure to commission this 200,000 capacity yam storage facility at Zaki Biam Yam Market, Benue State, on this day, the 9th of June 2020, to the glory of the Almighty God and for the benefit of the people of Benue State, Nigeria, and all Nigerians, and all those around the world who will buy and eat Nigerian yams. God bless you all. Thank you.